pack is back for another round in Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures when the evil ghost Betrayus sets his sights on doing vile things to Pac-World, beginning with stealing the wonderfully named Frigidigitator. Pac's latest adventure is based off the television series of the same name that began to air recently back in June. And let me just begin by saying that this game is average at best. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures is a 3D platformer that harkens back to Pac-Man's roots by having you do very Pac-Man-like things, such as gobbling up ghosts, collecting yellow pellets, and of course gathering up delicious fruit, all the while navigating through a series of perilous platforms across six worlds. Now to mix up the gameplay, Pac-Man can harness the power of multiple different power berries to, well, give him different powers. These power-ups include such things as being able to chuck fireballs, shooting ice from his mouth, turning into a chameleon with a long, sticky tongue, and a handful more. You'll be needing these upgrades to overcome particular environmental hazards to progress through levels, such as turning a flaming pillar of fire into a block of ice, or swinging over deadly pits with your stretchy tongue. And having all these different power-ups gives you something to look forward to and something new to continually try out as you progress through the story. But the actual level designs are pretty bland. They don't feel all that inspired. For the most part, you will just be jumping from one particular platform, fighting ghosts, and then jumping to the next platform until you reach the fruit at the end. Having the power-ups throws in different gameplay mechanics, but nothing really felt relatively new and different. There are boss fights too that, although being very, very simple, are actually kind of fun, probably because it was just something different from the repetitive platforming. And I did love the way Pac-Man eats the ghosts, it seems very Sonic-like, with Pac in a sense homing in on the ghosts and gobbling them up. And if there are any more ghosts in close proximity, you can chain up a combo, it's just really satisfying being able to pull it off, even though you don't get anything extra for doing it. But once you get through all the rather average levels in the story, you can try your hand at four different minigames in the main hub world to pass some time, and again, they are not all that great. I do have a particular fondness for the one that has you driving through a cylindrical tube, dodging cars and blasting ghosts, but other than that, there really isn't much incentive to go back and play them again. And if you can grab a group of friends, you can try out the game's 4 player multiplayer. And here you'll be playing in a variety of different classic Pac-Man like mazes, but to put a twist on things, all 4 players play as the ghost and try to hunt down Pac-Man and earn the highest score. You'll probably get over it pretty quickly though and move on to something else. So as I've been saying, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures is a very average game at best, and the visuals are on par with that. I do like the way Pac is designed and his different jumping animations are pretty fluid, but the environments are pretty basic, with the best ones being the colorful surroundings of Pac-World and the snowy landscapes of the ice levels. There is really no push in terms of graphical capabilities here though, so nothing will really make you take a second look. The dialogue is also very cheesy and conversations can feel jarring and don't flow along nicely. Here's an example. Ah. Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about... So overall, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures isn't a super bad game, but it is definitely not great. Having Pac-Man be able to equip different power-ups is pretty neat and helps change up the gameplay, but the fun is hampered by level designs that feel really bland, uninspired, and sometimes repetitive. There are also the different mini-games and multiplayer to try out, but again, nothing really special. So in all, the GamingPixelShow.com is awarding Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures a 2.5 out of 5. So that will bring us to the end of this review. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. You can stay tuned for more video reviews, news videos, and nasty Nintendo crazy episodes. But I'll talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!